Hi, I'm Andy Groskoff. This is my farm. My wife, Jessica, and I, we farm north of Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. We grow corn and dry edible beans. I grow great northern beans. I grow Andromedas and Dracos are the two main varieties that I plant. I plant them at a population of 90,000 seeds per acre. And I uh, plant the Andromeda more on my flat ground and the Draco more on the hillsides because the Dracos are more of an upright bushier plant and they tend to close the rows better than the Andromeda, but yet the Andromeda will out yield them substantially. I like to grow beans because they're, they fit my rotation. They help rebuild my soil and I'm starting to implement cover crops and going to a more no-till type of farming after my beans. I use different forms of irrigation. I pivot irrigation is pretty one of the more common ones and then I'm old school I have cement ditch and tubes and I also use gated pipe I the water down a ditch between the two rows it helps with augmentation which helps build up our aquifer underground and I have better sub moistures and it's I'm more efficient and I'll get a better yield but I have to work harder so our irrigation is really unique here because our water comes out of the mountains of Colorado and Wyoming and through a series of dams and canals, it's delivered to our area of Nebraska. So we have both surface water, which is what I just described, as well as groundwater, which is pumped out of the aquifer. After we harvest our beans, in uh, late September and early October, we'll come in and we'll plant some bin run wheat in to give us a cover crop. Then next year we will come in and plant our corn into the wheat and then terminate it after the corn is planted. We found some yield advantages and stuff by doing that practice. So the beans really help along with building up the nitrogen in the soil along with no-till farming. Another advantage to the no-till process is the fact that we have a lot of wind here. And so by using no-till practices and adding in that cover crop, we're able to hold that soil to the ground and keep it here on our farm.